so i have this html form here please don't look at the ui it sucks but you are not here for the ui you are here to see how we can save this data into the database all right so if i do apple the world .com and test and if i put submit this is submitted and if you go back to our database here i refresh this as you can see this is what i had saved in the form so let's see how we can do it and let's get started okay first of all what you're seeing this is my mysql database and this is php my admin so as you already can tell you will need to install mysql and php for this because we will be using php to do the backend stuff and you can do all that by installing xamp so if you already have xamp this is what is uh, xamp if you already have xamp then you can skip this uh, you can just go a few seconds ahead if you don't have uh, xamp check the first link in the description and they will show you how to install xamp and you will have php mysql and this ui tool ready okay so that will have you ready with php and mysql now let's go to the code okay so here we are inside xamp's htdocs folder this is where our php server uh, gets the files from you can create a new folder here uh call it anything you want so i i'll call it html underscore form or html dash form and this is what i have here so let me just delete these two so that i can tell you how to show it how to do it from scratch so once you have your folder ready you can open this folder in any of your editor of choice so i have just opened this in html form it is in uh, vs code you no need for an editor you can just right click and create a new file and call it what we will call it also and you can just do this using notepad also but later on uh, when you do big stuff you'll definitely need an ide so i have my visual studio code open here so i'll create a new let me check if audio is recording or not it is so let's create a new file first let's create an html form i'll call it index.html and i'll just quickly uh, create my form you can just type along with me or you can uh, you know later on oh, fill the later on just copy it when i'm done it's pretty simple i think you will not have any issues here it's a simple form and our body we will have let's say a title h1 that will that will be contact form and let's finally create our form here okay and the action is this is where we put the link of our php code and this php code will save this data into database for now i'll just call it submit form.php we don't have it right now we'll have to create this the method is post so what is method method means how are we sending data to the backend script to the php so method post means that our data will be encrypted and inside form let's create a label and let's call it name and let's take input here type will be text and name will be name now this name is important because when we are in this php script backend script this is what we will use to get data from input type okay so you need to remember this okay and this is required because uh, we will not be able to submit form if the user has not entered if type required okay let's break that goes to a new line and let me just copy this you know so that it will be our faster and just paste name and just paste this again so this is now email and this becomes uh, let's call it message Okay, and let's change this to email and let's change this to message okay so our form is almost ready we just need a button now and input type is submit for button and value is submit okay so our form is already ready let's see how it looks uh, in this HTML here let's go back to our browser and let's refresh this as you can see our form is here now if we type and try to save it there will be an error because our 
submit form.php is not created and it's showing url not found because that file does not exist so let's create the file let's call it submit underscore form.php and let's write the php code okay so before writing php code we need to make sure that we have a database so that we can store data so first uh, let me start this mysql server and let's create a database okay let's go back let's go back to our page in my admin let's create a new database let's call it form v and just creating the database is not enough we need to create a table where we'll store data okay so let's call it uh, our table let's call it form underscore dpl we will need four columns from from form okay so create and now we need an id and click on ai so this id is how you uniquely identify all the columns in your table so if you have two people named vishal if you want to edit vishal one so this is how uh, id is provided to the users like one two three and four and let's call it name and then we have detail and finally we have message and this is not integer this is square care let's say our maximum length of name 50 and then we have email and this is also let's say maximum email length is 50 and then we have a message we can choose text here okay and finally what you need to do is just click save so we have our table here and we have four columns name email message and id so id is automatically inserted whenever you insert a new user here okay so now let's go back to our form and let's start with our php code and we need four things we need a host since our database is locally in our own machine so we just write localhost here after that we need to give the username of our database so let's root in your case it can be different by default phmy admin has no password for root user so i'm just using username root and then we have password as i mentioned password is not set by default so i'll just leave it empty and then we use database that is which database to use if you go here i have multiple databases here but we will use form underscore db right so right form underscore db so we have the details of our database ready now let's code so first we need to connect to the database how do you do that you create a connection variable right now new mysqli and you enter your details here that is the host the username and password and finally database so this is this has to be in this order make sure you don't get, uh, get the order wrong and let's check if it is connected right so we do if our connection has an error What do we do if our connection has an error we kill our script right here with the message connection failed and we get connection connection errors this will die with this message now else we need to write else because if there is an error our script will just end here and the lines below it will not be executed but if it does not end here that means that this uh, has failed so that means there is no error and connection is successful so if connection is successful let's get data let's get user data right how do we do that in a name variable we have used post method so we'll be receiving data in post and what, what do we need to get from there if you see here the name is name email and message first let's get the name and let's copy this and now we'll get email then we'll get 
message. Okay, so we have the data, we have connected to the database, now we just need to insert it. So to insert it, to comment it, you just need one line of code that is uh, not one line, you need a query. It is my SQL query and that is insert into form data, insert into name. So uh, what was the name? It's uh, form underscore table, not form data. You get name and you have email, you have message. Name, email, comma, message. And what do we want to insert? We want to insert the values. What values do you want to insert? Dollar name and dollar email and dollar MSG. So we have our query ready. Insert into these things. What to insert? These things. Now we just need to execute this query. So we go connection. Query, what query? Our SQL query that we just created, and if this returns to true, we means that we, it means that our data is inserted. So we just go echo form submitted successfully. Else, what do we do? Echo, sorry. Else we so that means we print error and let's let's also print the error number right so uh, we print the SQL query so that so that if there is an error uh, we'll know what the query is and we can just examine this query and let's print a new break line so that it's not all mixed up if there is an error and no break we will print the error okay so I think this is it. Let's try to run this. Test user test.com and this is test. Let's submit and you're getting form submitted successfully. Let's go ahead. Let's refresh our database. And as you can see, we have the test user here. So this is how you can insert data into MySQL database using HTML and PHP. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.